All right, folks. Before we start the show, a lot of complaints coming in by our loyal band of viewers. Not many, but very loyal. They all say the timings keep changing. What are the actual timings? When can we watch the show? Legal legend, luminary, Fali Nariman himself has called up and said, "What's going on, guys? I want timings. Give me timings. When is this show on?" So I thought about it. There's an answer. Now, it's on right now. Whatever time it is, that's the time. Take a look. It's called the week that wasn't. People of the world, someone has to say it. Nobody has the guts, but India needs to know. Sorry, that's nobody's personal sentence. I'm going to say it. India does need to know. I'm saying it. Last warning. I am saying it. The heat is worse than COVID. Really, yeah. I mean, no one's talking about the heat. I mean, it's much worse. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'm thirsty right now. History was made this week. India's oldest track record for 5,000 meters has finally fallen after 30 years to a guy called Avinash Sable. Now that speaks volumes for India, folks. In 30 years, we've only moved 5,000 meters. The Tamil Nadu government has revoked the ban on Patina Pravesham, a ritual where the head of the Darumpuram, I hope I've said that correctly, mutt, is carried by people in a palanquin. Now, some people call this cruel, but our director Kunal Vijaykar says, Are ye normal hai, bhai. <laughs> All those four guys are in wheelchairs now. Because it was uphill. It was very difficult to do. Siram Institute boss Adar Punawala has suggested to Elon Musk to make Tesla electric cars in India. Nitin Gadkari says he's very welcome. He must come here. Tesla in India is great. And we can make them as long as the electric cars are made in India and not in China. I have an even better idea. Let's make the car in India, but let's use electricity from China. Last Saturday, the AC had to shut for two hours. Poor people were screaming. <laughs> when I said poor people, you know what I mean. People who are feeling poor about it, that's it. You know why Adar Punawala and Elon Musk are friends? Think about it. They're both rich. Yes, male models. Afghan Taliban has issued an order for all women to be covered from head to toe in public. Don't you think, geographically speaking, they'd have a better impact in countries like Finland? I mean, it's cold all year round, so the more clothes, the better. That makes sense. Meanwhile, in Pyongyang, unaffected by global inflation, epidemics or trade embargoes, back in North Korea, flight tested a ballistic missile from a submarine. For North Korea, weapon testing is like IPL is for India. They just go on, regardless of what's happening in the world. Season 16, coming soon. Wait a Emmanuel Macron was sworn in for his second term as France's president this week. The first term was a learning experience uh, for the French people. Not him, it's them. Macron said he wanted to make peace with the right under Marine Le Pen. And as a gesture of good faith, he was appointing her ambassador to Ukraine. Lots more coming up, but first the headlines. Sedition law under reconsideration. Are our pilots drinking and flying? High temperatures in India and Sri Lanka in dire crisis. Folks, uh, I'm under a lot of tension. I even stumbled while talking in the beginning, you can see that. And that's because of the tension I'm feeling right now. It's not because of the government, not sedition, not all that, but not yet. What the problem is basically is that 2020, 2021, no summer holiday. So the wife says we have to go, we have to go on a summer holiday 2022. Now that's bad enough for any family because that costs money. For me, I have to pay twice as much because we go on separate holidays. So it's the secret of a good marriage it's from me to you guys. Have a good one, but it costs a lot of money. Anyway, let's go to our top story. The union government this week on instructions of PM Modi, well, obviously, told the Supreme Court that it has decided to re-examine and reconsider provisions of the 130-year-old British colonial era sedition law in the country. It's so old, it's written in French. <laughs> Joining us to discuss this is leading lawyer, barrister Jahangir Vakil. I have seen his degrees. This guy is fantastic. <laughs> Jahangir Vakil. Yes, Barrister Jangir Vakil of Vakil and Vakil Lawyer Nariman and Sorabji Advocates, Solicitors, Partners, Associates. Yeah, true legal blue blood. So you are five partners, Vakil, Vakil, Lawyer, Nariman and Sorabji. No, only one partner, me. What? Then, then why Vakil, Vakil, Lawyer, Nariman, Sorabji? You know, one Vakil for High Court, one huh. Vakil for Supreme Court and Lawyer only for Parsi clients. Okay, and what about Nariman and Sorabji? For effect. 
I see, name dropping. I like that. I do that myself all the time. <laughs> right, Johnny Depp? Khas <laughs> Kados. Okay, let's talk about the government's decision to re-examine the sedition law, Barrister Vakil. What's your opinion? Which Vakil are you asking for an opinion? You. I mean the High Court Vakil or the Supreme Court Vakil. You see, charges for legal opinion will depend upon that. I don't want an opinion, as in opinion, opinion. I just want your views as an expert, just... Of course, that I am. <laughs> so, <clears throat> prima facie, sedition law is a shame. In fact, what may work better in our country instead of sedition law is a sedation law. Did you say sedation law? Half our politicians who continue to rabble rouse should all be compulsorily sedated. And the other half what? Promoted? Uh, go on, talk about the sedition law. Included in the IPC in 1890, this draconian law was used by the British colonial government against people like Mahatma Gandhi and Lokmanya Tilak. All right, you've Googled that for sure. Go on. It was used against them for standing up against national oppression. Oh, that's very correct, very correct. And today it is used against people for not standing up during the national anthem. Oh, I, I, I thought you were about to play it and I just, you know, just classically conditioned to respond immediately. Go on, sir. In those days, it was used against freedom fighters who were standing up against the British government. And of course, today... And today, it is being used against those who do stand-up comedy against the state government. Stand-up against the British Raj, etc. And stand-up comedy in Parel. I mean, really, I mean, where's the comparison? Go on, sir. What deep insights uh, you have, I must say. And you do have a way with words, I'll give you that. That is true, that is true. You see, English is the first language of all Parsis. <laughs> you, my relative, Dhanjisha Eracha Kama, a renowned Parsi, had written the first Parsi book in English in 1725. Really? You say his name was Dhanjisha Kama? Yes, I think the book was called Kama Sutra. <laughs> but spelled with a C, so we won't even get into that whole story because it's totally different. Let's get back to the sedition law. See, in the draconian days, you could be held for sedition for drawing weapons against the government. Huh? But today, you can be held for sedition for drawing cartoons against the government. This goes back to Mamta also. I'm just, I'm not taking the side of the central government. I'm just saying be careful. It's not like everything is rosy. Uh, please go on, sir. In those days, you could be booked for sedition if you supported the wrong country. Today, you can be booked for sedition if you support the wrong cricket team. Oh, so Bangladesh took paisa mat dalo. Sorry. Sorry. Good you told me that, sir. In the days of British oppression, judgment on sedition cases was given by a panel of judges. And today? And today, judgment on sedition cases is given by a panel of news anchors. <laughs> what is the name of that fellow who shouts in two languages every day? Eh? Eh? What? We what? just call him uh, Bunty. Anything else? Yes, one more thing. You see, in the British days, you are arrested for liking an enemy country. Yes, that's true. And today... You could be arrested for liking a post on Facebook. <laughs> My viewers, because Facebook, the youngsters don't... Anyway, go on, go on. You're, you're happy then that the draconian sedition law is going to be changed. Yes, I am happy. I am very happy. But I am sure the government will have to keep some provisions of the sedition law for real and genuine anti-national elements. <laughs> Ah, I was waiting for this. Like who? Like liberals, intellectuals and opposition party. Opposition party. Oh, really? That's it? Maybe for you also, by the way. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, be careful. Wow. Finally, I'll be known. Okay, if you say so. Just want to know which area in Mumbai do you come from? Because this accent of yours, I find is a little bit... Sukeo. Sukeo. Thoru... Left, right, unis beasts, as we say in Hindi. Little odd here and there, but I'll leave it there. Well, who are we to criticize when poor people criticize other poor people? It makes no sense. Let's go on. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation, DGCA, has taken action against and suspended nine pilots and 32 cabin crew from various airlines who failed pre flight alcohol tests between Jan 1st and April 30th this year. Wow, and I'm told off the record that Air India, not one of them. Parsi owned! Parsi owned! With genuine accent. Genuine. Genuine accent.
Joining us is Captain Gopal Kapoor to give us some insights into what's happening. It's the first time a guy called Gopal is featured in this show, so <laughs> let's enjoy it. Captain Gopal? Hello, yes, this is your captain speaking. We are now cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet. Temperature outside is minus 23 degrees. Wind direction is coming from the front and it's time for oh, some... I thought wind was coming from the back there for a second. I was Okay, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Sorry, really. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I was just doing this announcement for time pass. For time pass? Yes. Time pass ke liye. Ah. वैसे भी जब कैप्टन अनाउंसमेंट करता है किसी को कुछ समझ में नहीं आता दैट्स ट्रू दैट्स रियली ट्रू मैं इस उड़ान का मुख्य वैमानिक कप्तान बोल रहा हूं कि बाद अगर मैं कहूं आ जा मेरी गाड़ी में बैठ जा तो भी किसी को कुछ समझ में नहीं आने वाला आई वुड एंजॉय द लेटर मच मोर इफ दे सैंग मोर सॉन्ग्स इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस स्ट्रेंज हिंदी दे यूज्ड नो वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड आर यू अ लिटिल हाउ डू आई से दिस हाउ हैव यू हैड अ फ्यू Yes, yes, yes. This flight has departed exactly on time, as per scheduled ETD. <laughs> estimated time of departure? No, estimated time of drinks. <laughs> ah, uh, this is your captain speaking. I am now flying really high at a very high altitude. मने ऊपर ऊपर रहने दे मने ऊपर ऊपर वो यहाँ ब्रीज बहुत है ठंडी 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 आई इंटरव्यू दिस प्रोग्राम टू जस्ट मेंशन द राइटर रोड सिंग सम सॉन्ग माय ब्यूटीफुल एक्टर प्लेइंग दिस रोल सिंगिंग इज ओन सॉन्ग ऑन द साइड दे दैट्स ट्रू ओरिजिनलिटी कैप्टन आई डोंट थिंक यू कैपेबल ऑफ फ्लाइंग प्लीज इफ आई कैन जस्ट ट Oh, I'm perfectly capable. I'm perfectly capable, and I have the proof. Don't be ridiculous. What proof? My drink. Forty-eight percent proof. <laughs> Someone, please, please stop that guy. Stop that man, please. Somebody. Ah, attention, cabin crew. Uh, one more Victor Oscar Delta Kilo Alpha, please. One more Victor Oscar Delta Kilo Alpha, please. Did you say one more Victor Oscar Delta Kilo Alpha? Yes, V O D K A. One more, one more. Oh, my God! Up, 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 up Of course, nine-year-old kids shouldn't drink. Oh, man, I'm up, up. Okay, okay. Enough of, enough of this flight. I'm beginning my this, this flight, VVD ATT to tower. Flight VVD ATT to tower. What the hell is flight VVD ATT? VVD ATT. Very, very drunk all the time. Am I clear? For landing, <laughs> that's why you don't understand. They are clearing the landing. You know, I mean, top of that, everyone is like, "Yeah, okay, this is normal. This is ah, oh, very good, Captain. Have one more and just drop down." God help this flight. <coughs> <coughs> What? Runway thirty-four? अरे पागल हो गए हो क्या? मैं runway thirty-four पे land कैसे करूँ? Runway thirty-four तो पूरा crash हो गया. We had to plug it. It's a marketing deal. We had to plug it. It's not by choice. We wanted to plug it. We plugged it. हो गया. Don't get on with it. Mede, Mede, Mede. What happened? We are low on fuel. Low on fuel. Low on fuel. Yes, my glass is empty. <laughs> Air hostess, Victor Oscar Delta Kilo Alpha, sixty. I can just say one thing: as that plane lands safely, thank God. Le lo. Okay, make it one twenty. Two sixty, sixty. One twenty ml. पूरा ग्लास को भरो नो प्रॉब्लम हैव एज मच एज यू वांट नाउ दैट यू हैव लैंडेड सेफली आई वांट टू जस्ट से वन थिंग दिस स्किट हैज बीन रिटन बाय समवन ओवर द एज ऑफ 70 बिकॉज़ यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू से एयर होस्टेस इट्स स्टुअर्डस नोबडी सेज एयर होस्टेस एनीमोर दैट इज प्रूफ लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दैट वी नीड राइटर्स हु आर यंग और टॉल बट यंग ऑलराइट ओके वी आर गोइंग टू अ क्विक ब्रेक देन व्हेन वी कम बैक वी विल ऑल बी सोबर एंड वी कैन गेट ऑन विद दिस वंडरफुल शो सब का दोपहर फास्ट Welcome back. No response. <laughs> Always the same. I wait for people to say yes, we're here, but nothing. Just like my wedding, nobody turned up. Thank God. Apparently, India has a new crisis, folks. This is true. Bollywood is in danger, and this time it's neither taxation or piracy. What is it? 
साउथ फिल्म टू गुड वाइपिंग हाउस ऑल ऑफ बॉलीवुड पीपल आर जस्ट क्राइंग इन बॉलीवुड क्या करू क्या करू आई मीन साउथ इज जस्ट किलिंग आस For the latest on the metro work delays, let's go to union leader of Metro Works, Mumbai, folks. This is big, just a local issue for us, but I want the rest of India to see it as well because it's driving us nuts. They said 2020, then 2021. Are we bold at 2024? Perhaps, shyad, maybe those kind of words. Let's find out. Mr. Matty Hosh, what an odd name for a Maharashtrian guy in Mumbai. <laughs> Mr. Hosh, why more delays? Not got payment of dues. One second, let me get this straight. You have not got paid for your metro work. Yes. How many months? Not months, days. What? You stop work because of a few days delay in payment. How many days? One. One day. Which day? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. All workers have a mother's na. So how can we work on Mother's Day? <laughs> Let's just go. I'm sorry about that. Hello, mummy. How are you? Oil prices rose again this week. Folks, this means we have to do better by our country and society. We all have to do a little sacrifice. A little sacrifice goes a long way. So instead of applying Anup hair oil twice a day, I brought it down to once a day, and on Sunday, bilkul nahi. Everyone, do your little bit, and we will make this a happy country once again. Okay, uh, folks, this heat wave—it's just driving us nuts. I mean, it's not ending; it's getting worse and worse. People are actually dying. It's horrible. How do we cope? Let's meet Dr. Shalini Sud. um a very very interesting person who understands the the nuances of heat and cold and will explain temperature fluctuation to us i'm sorry i'm supposed to be chatting with miss shalini sood uh, would you know where she is yes i am she <laughs> you are shalini sood yes for the last 57 years but um but what but, but what um, <laughs> but what what are you trying to say but 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 what what Something wrong with the picture? It's just, it's just that your. Well, you were the face of many campaigns before, like Pepsi, Five Star, Chandrika Soap, right? No, it's just that. And ye... I did not question how such big brands could be endorsed by someone so unattractive as yourself, did I? No, I didn't mean you were unattractive or anything like that. I was just, just, just the picture didn't. Okay, listen. Uh, I'll get to the point. Leave. It's not important. Yes, yes. About time, huh? about time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we need to? Yeah, shall we need to? This kind of question they ask about rubbish, nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> this is much more intellectual writer involved in this pursuit. Sorry, 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 Miss Sood. I'm so, uh, Mr. Sood. I'm uh, uh, Sood, sir. Whatever, <laughs> Sood. Uh, firstly, why are we experiencing such a heat wave? Okay, now that requires a scientific answer, which involves geographic, genomic, environmental, astronomical dimensions. <laughs> Meaning. meaning it will be beyond your capacity why don't we just blame it on global warming putin jinping and america the three pillars of global warming i have a question what about the fourth pillar india it is safer to stick to three pillars in india we call it principle of selective science principle of selective science fair enough fair enough i like that but let me then ask how do we cope with the heat there are two answers air and water that's it air and water yes for the rich there is air conditioning and for the poor there is water water to drink <laughs> the poor have to make their own judgment call whether to cool off in the water or whether to drink it there will not be enough water for both actions wow it's very sensitive i must say any other theories a good spokesperson has also blamed it on the opposition what the opposition is responsible for the heat wave yes it is a conspiracy by the opposition to lure indians into leaving india ah by itself not the worst idea but uh, it's making the government look bad obviously when you leave india on mars i can understand yes however the heat does affect us all rich and poor no may i just add the rich have luxury homes acs pools holiday destinations Frank it's the poor that really suffer on the contrary very often heat like covid spares no one really the high and mighty are by no means immune <laughs> no means immune you think so you think i look like this in the winter oh i see this is my summer look did that person just say this is my summer look like by choice i go out and meet people and this is how i want to look in the summer Because I don't know. As you know, we sit and we write these things and we hope for the best, and then what comes out? Honestly, it's like when you have an ugly child. You don't really to blame. You don't plan it. 
just comes out like that sometimes. All right, emergency in Sri Lanka, folks, you know all about it. It's been a horrible few weeks. The last week has been the worst. A proper emergency. People are angry, they're upset. And in fact, we've had a few people dying. We've had lots of beatings, fightings, frustration, anxiety, stress. Let's meet our alleged Indian diplomat over there, His Excellency Deputy Ambassador R.V. Sangha. Don't Google, there's no proof. Uh, Excellency. Namaste, India. Namaste. Help, oh. help, help. Uh, sorry, sir, did you, did you say help? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I was saying... Uh, Tell, tell, tell. What do you want me to tell? Okay, I thought I heard help. Okay. Sangha sir, please tell me how is the situation in Colombo in Colombo? No, no, it is fine. Uh, uh, fine. And by fine, I mean the, the, the clubs are still open. Bajao, bajao. Huh? What? One sec. Oh, sorry. Uh, after that, you... Did you... No, you didn't. Did you say bachao? No, no. I was saying batao. Batao. Kya Achha. baat hai? Kya poochna hai? Batao. B-A-C-H-A-O. That's not bat batao. That's bat okay, listen. Uh, seven people killed, 200 injured. Raja Paksa, well, the finance minister resigns. Citizenry is up in arms. Uh, th th um, this is, this is not true. People are upset, yes, uh, but not uh, to such a degree. If your temperature is 99 degrees, you can't report it as uh, uh, 105, na? So, it's okay. You can if you don't want to go to school the next day, but you're right, it's not right. But rumors are circulating that certain diplomats and political figures have fled to India out of fear. No, nonsense! Nonsense! More likely, the reverse. Many Indians unhappy in India have fled to Sri Lanka. <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, <laughs> really, why would Indians be unhappy in India? Uh, 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 can't say. Uh, IPL results maybe, KGF success, inflation maybe, arrest of bagga, sedition, uh, kuch bhi karan ho sakta hai. Please, please, please help. Did you, are you saying please? Did you, did you, did you say please, please, please? There's something you're trying to say in code, na? Nahi, 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 nahi. One sec, you're saying yes with your face and no with your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. I can't understand. Now you're saying no with your face and yes with your mouth. Uh, please tell me. Okay, please tell me. I'm, I will try and make this short. You seem to be in some trouble. Do you want to come to India? Do you want to come home? Is there something we can do? No, 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 no. No. Which is it? Yes or no? Uh, hi. I am a diplomat. So? So how can I give committed answers? Uh, one way or another, I can't. Oh. Okay, so you want to come and you don't want to come. Someone for me. Okay. Mere, mere ko se nikalo. All great, all great. Uh, everything is great. This, this is worse than my wife. Are, mujhe, mujhe do. Sorry, mujhe do. Okay, guys, there's something that happened there. Our, we've lost the diplomat in a sense. I think he's okay, but he's just walked off for safety. What I can't understand is why in Colombo are demonstrators speaking in Hindi? All right, uh, we've come up with a new segment as we end the show. And the segment is you, the viewer, is asked to rate who was the worst actor on the show. <laughs> now, your choices are um, one, two, and three. We had three people uh, represented on the show. You count Marthosh as half, that's 3.5. You decide who is the worst, and that person will be given more acting work the next week, so you suffer more. And if you suffer more, the rest of your day goes well, because you've suffered here and done your penance. That's the deal between us and you. All right? So please write in who's the worst actor? Gopal, Kunal, Mohit, uh, Matosh. <laughs> Till next time, it's bye bye from me in Sinhalese. Acha, Alvida, Alvida. Is Sinhalese not here? Why were the actors talking in Hindi? Who didn't research that? Who didn't research that? Now the major investigation is happening. Mohit, come. Acha, aage, aage, aage. In those days, you could. I will have one sip of water. So, what is the first thing? Yeah, you can zoom in a little bit. Dika, 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 dika. Not got, payment not got dues. payment of dues. Clear. Pilot career. Yeah, that same, that uh, timing guy. Uh, ready?